Okay, we're going to have a quick look at rig removal using Zoo3D on the iPad. So, I'm going to try and make a little film with this zebra flying across in front of the castle here. So, to stop me having to keep touching the iPad, I'm going to use the time lapse setting. I'm going to put it on one second, and I'm going to start it off like this. Now, it's important we get a few frames, at least one, before our character and their rig is in the film. So, we've got a few now, so we can start to bring him in. We're just going to do a very quick, simple animation of our zebra flying through the castle. Okay, that's great. So we can stop that now and watch back what we've just made. There it goes, not a great animation, but it'll do the trick. So if we were step through it like this, we can see our wire, which is our rig. So on the green screening tab, on the tools tab, we've got this, which is the magic rubber. Now when you first select it, it will ask you to select a frame on the timeline to use as a source. And this wants to be a picture that you've taken, a frame that you've taken that doesn't have the rig in or the character, so the, just the background. So we can select that one there, and that's appeared here. And if it was the wrong one, you can tap, tap that again, and then choose a different one, like this. So now we've selected it, we can step through our film until we find the first frame that's got our character and the rig in. So there we are. So with the tool selected, we just draw onto here, and it's drawing from that source frame that we selected before. So it rubs it out might find it useful to go full screen uh, and then we can zoom out and step through our film frame by frame and rub bits out like this so you, you can do this carefully zoom in so I'm just going to do it quite quickly just to get the idea so we just rub it out now you have to be careful with the lighting with, with uh, Rig removal. So here I've quite carefully lit the background in such a way that my, when my character goes in front of it, it doesn't cast too much in the way of shadows over the background. Because if you get shadows, you get a shadow of the rig, which then also needs to be rubbed out and can make it look less effective. So if you can manage to light the scene carefully to not have, not cast shadows, you get better effects. So we just step through like this. We'll just come out of full screen to do the last little bit up here. And we're nearly done. See here is what I was saying about shadows. You see how that's different there. If you get it where I'm drawing, we were obviously were casting a shadow over the background. So there's, we can rub that out. So it's just about being careful. And there we have it. So if we watch our film now. Oh, we missed a frame earlier on. So we watch it, pause it, step, step, step. So we missed a bit here, so we just rub carefully, rub it out, like so, and we missed the whole frame there, so we rub that one out. So now as we go through our film, you can see our zebra flying with no rig. That's it.